How do traditions connect us to the greater Malhalia community? Hmm. Well, I think that like, kind of like we were talking about earlier, like whenever I'm away from Mount Holyoke, I talk about it all the time. And like traditions is one of those things that like you start telling people who don't go to a college like this and they're like, that's like so cool. That's so fun. And like sometimes you get to do things like you share a tradition with someone off campus. Um, but then like when I'm talking about it off campus, sometimes you like run into alums and you like meet people. I remember wearing a Mount Holyoke shirt at my job last summer and somebody was like, do you go to Mount Holyoke? And I was like, I do. And she was like, I go to Mount Holyoke. I went there. I'm an alum. Um, and so you're like already making those connections. Um, yeah, I um, sort of ended up at Mount Holyoke because I'm an alum. Actually, I wasn't able to come tour um, Mount Holyoke, but an admissions representative came down to Miami and interviewed me and connected me to, an, to a local alum who was a dance major when she was here, who then connected me to somebody else who was another academic, who was in another academic field I was interested in. And I ended up playing like alumni telephone with four or five people. <laughs> um, and I got like five voices about what Mount Holyoke is like through decades. Um, and it was a really fantastic way to sort of get a feel of the community without being here. And because of that, I've worked reunions every year, which is how I've met both of you. Um, it is a really fun time where um, graduation happens and alums all come together on campus. And it's just a really lively, energetic weekend where you get to connect with people who have been here in different times than you and you get to know them and you get to meet them. Um, and it's so much fun. Yeah, and speaking of alums and community, um, during reunions, there's this tradition called the Laurel Parade, mm -hmm. um, which is like a big, um, all the seniors dress in white and like march and carrying a laurel, but um, alums participate in that too. So like they start by marching with all their class years and like they still dress in their class colors after all these years and like everybody, um, like they, they do marching and then all the alums split off so the seniors can march through them. Um, so you kind of like get to see this like bigger community you're joining and it's just like, it's so special to see alums and to meet alums. They just like, every alum I have ever met has like loved Mount Holyoke students yeah. and like loved that like you were excited about being here and like wants to see Mount Holyoke students in the world. Yeah, I, as a first generation college student, I didn't know a lot of colleges and I actually found out about Mount Holyoke through an alum. Mm -hmm. And I just heard amazing things about her. I, like I had to apply here and being here, like I've been able to see all the things that she told me mm -hmm. at the time. I'm grateful to have this experience. Yeah. And even when you're not on campus, like the alumni network is there for you. If you're abroad for Mountain Day, mm -hmm. um, uh, you don't like just have to miss out on it, the alumni network and wherever you are, like all over the world, considering how international our mm -hmm. alumni network is. Uh, we'll invite you at uh, 1837 military time, 637 p.m. to eat ice cream with them, um, which I just think is like a beautiful experience of like having Mount Holyoke wherever you go. Yeah.